Let's get the read from Kenny Polcardi, the founder and the CEO of Case Capital Advisors. Uh, Catherine Rudiviera with us, the Bolton Capital Markets Chief Strategist. And again, what's interesting, Catherine, you look at it, just where we stand, you know, roughly year to date. Uh, all the major averages are at or in the case of the Dow, very, very near bear market territory. So you could take the argument, well, that's cheap in the market to the point it might be a buy. And then other people start saying, well, no, 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 it's still a rich market. Um, still has a ways to go. Where are you on this? Well, the multiples, which is price to earnings, have dropped and they're reaching historically cheap levels. That said, it doesn't mean they can't get a lot cheaper if we, in fact, go into recession. I'm of a different point of view than Kenny. I don't think we're in recession right now. It's very difficult, Neil, to fathom being in a recession with near record low unemployment rates. So I would have to see more than just the two quarter technical definition of recession, I would have to see unemployment surge. I would have to see corporations say, you know what, I don't see enough demand out there to merit the two jobs for every unemployed person that currently exists in the economy. So look, I think the equity markets are not yet a buy. I would not be selling, but I certainly would not be accumulating at current levels. That means it lasts a while. If he's right, Catherine, real quickly, uh, do you see a recession of that length and magnitude? We are in stagflation right now. Even the Fed acknowledged it. In this week, in this past week's um, Federal Reserve meeting, they took their forecast for this year's GDP for the U.S. down more than one for full percentage point. So mm. now we're at 1.7. Potential growth for the U.S., the rate at which the U.S. economy can grow without uh, you know, starting uh, accumulating inflation pressures is 2.4. So we're already below economic growth potential rates, and we have inflation above 5%. So we're in stagflation, and I disagree with President Biden. Recession is totally part of the economic cycle. It isn't inevitable. Right. It's co- I mean, right. it is inevitable. It's totally coming. All it's right. part of the I, economic cycle. I got cycle. you. There's Catherine Rooney Vera back with us. Yeah. Um, Catherine, you know, uh, There are a good many companies that stay in places like California, that stay in New York. And maybe it's just it is, you know, discombobulating to move and get your people moving. It could explain there are other, you know, little side issues going on with Disney's reluctance to move some workers from California to Florida, given the rip they're having with Governor DeSantis. But um, the fact that more are not doing this, is it because of that, the difficulty of that or what? Well, I suspect that eventually they'll be moving down here to Florida like all of us, like all of us, Penny and I are both here in Florida. We're New York, New Jersey transplants. And now here in Miami can tell you, Neil, that there's increasingly more people moving here from California. And the reason is very simple. It's economic freedom, you know, and it's low taxes. It's a very business friendly environment. So I suspect what has been a deluge of transplants from New York, New Jersey, Illinois, and California going to Texas, Tennessee, Susan mentioned Georgia, Florida. I suspect that's going to continue. It'll slow down because post-pandemic, we got, as I said, that deluge. But I do suspect that the interest state difference in taxes in and of itself not to mention the business friendly incentives and the regulations are very low and not to mention the weather as well, Neil. All of that is going to continue to bring, I suspect, business flow from New York, New Jersey to Florida and out of California for sure. Of course, this time here, it's a little hot and humid. I mean, there is that. But you know, you'll deal with it. You see how much money you're saving. You say, I can deal with the heat. Uh, All right, guys, I want to thank you all very, very much. Wild times. Be careful what you wish for, because, you know, I, I think and you touched on it, Catherine. A lot of those New Yorkers and transplants who are in Florida now, the flip side of that is they're awful drivers. And so (laughs) now they're in Florida. And I see it myself. And I find love them all. But get off the road. Get off the road. I should not say that. I'm going to get the hate mail now. All right. Thank you guys very, very much. Have a wonderful weekend.